Well, I was um, asked to portray Professor Wheelwright, uh, and uh, the, the moment my agent uh, uh, let me know about it, I jumped at it because I, I liked the show, and uh, it was a, I read the read the script, and I really liked the role. It was, some, it was something fun to do, you know, kind of. Uh, sort of half Halloween, and, and, and Wheelwright's fun, the, the professor, because he's, uh, he's sort of a, an angry nerd, and the nerd herd, of course, rules on Chuck. When, I, when the, the rewrites came to my house, uh, it was over Labor Day, and I had uh, uh, a bunch of kids from a college reunion, uh, my niece and all of her friends down for the holiday, and uh, the delivery, the script was delivered to the door, and, and one of them picked it up, and they said, oh, you're doing Chuck, and my stock immediately rose, you know, with all of my house guests, so that was kind of cool. Well, I think, you know, you know, in the classic menu or ingredient, uh, Dr. Wheelwright, Professor Wheelwright, is, 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 is a pretty classical mad scientist. Uh, uh, he has a nice little arc. Um, and, and as I said earlier, you know, he's, he's a very angry nerd. Uh, and he's developed a, a nerve gas uh, that he's trying to peddle. And we discover him in Russia, and then he winds up at Bymore <laughs> on Halloween. So uh, it, there's a lot of fun to that arc. But it, it's fun to play because he's, you know, he's, he's not a superhero or a supervillain. Uh, he, he's sort of a, 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 a weak little scientist, uh, but he has he sort of tested the nerve gas on himself, so he has no fear anymore. He's kind of relentless and ruthless in his designs. You know, it's great. I got In fact, I'm I'm behind on my tweets. I've got to tell everybody that I've I've been cold cocked by by. Sarah Connor, you know, <laughs> Linda, and Linda's great, you know, we'd spent all day today running and gunning, as we say, uh, we actors say, just, I mean, you know, Linda was just shooting everybody, and I'm, I'm the cowering little scientist, you know, and she's using me as a human shield as she fights her way out of a cafe scene, uh, and, and, and Zach's terrific, it's kind of hard to work with Zach, because he f keeps it so fresh, and he's the star, he's allowed to ad lib and go off book, you know, and improvise, and, you know, it's, it's, actors love to be fresh for, for every scene and every angle, but it's also hard to keep a straight face. And I'm, you know, I'm working on a real character here that's a little different than Robert. And, uh, and, and I'm kind of committed physically to this character. And, and you know, he'll pull a, a, a quip out of left field on me every once in a while. And I go, I go down. I've lost it. I've lost it twice now. I think I've ruined two takes already. You know, Zach's got me laughing. But most of it, he's saved for off camera, so I'm, I'm being lucky, I'm lucky. Well, I have a pat saying, you know, where I, I tend to leave uh, Halloween to the amateurs. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in demand at Halloween. It's a very lucrative time of year for years, truly. I'm, I'm off to, I think, Orlando for this Halloween. Um, you know, I, I have to be careful. I always have to have a house sitter if I'm, if I'm out of town doing a personal appearance or something because uh, the neighborhood kids hit Freddy's house. You know, they always go after my house. And one year there was a giant paraffin claw, you know, with melted wax in front of my place. And I think it took me about six months to finally get all the pieces of that scraped up off my... Uh, my little walkway is made of brick and it's real porous. You know, it's like scraping wax for six months. But... Uh, no, you know, Halloween, I, I remember as a child, you know, I think one of my worst traumas was my, I had very liberal parents, and they dressed me up as Fidel Castro one year and sent me out trick-or-treating. I think that's about the worst Halloween I've ever had. You can imagine an eight-year-old kid with a beard on, you know, trick-or-treat, you know.